We know you'll be cooking up a storm tomorrow, but ever wonder what the pilgrims served at their first Thanksgiving? Well, if it, mat if it matches our modern day traditions, you're going to find out. Dr. Sanjayan has more. Hi, my name is Sanjan. I'm the lead scientist for the Nature Conservancy. This year when you go out and celebrate Thanksgiving, which is, after all, an all-American holiday that is celebrated around food and family and giving thanks for that food, I want to think about what kind of foods would have been there at that very first Thanksgiving table. An all-American holiday deserves an all-American meal. Well, it turns out that when the Pilgrims and the Native Americans met um, in, um, in Massachusetts to celebrate that meal, they would have likely had seafood at that table, shellfish and, and fish like cod, for example. They would have also had venison, which is deer meat, like this over here, as well as waterfowl, like duck and geese. Now, we also know that they probably had corn as well as squash, which is also another food that is native to North America and comes in lots of different varieties. The other things here are also grown in North America. They're native to this continent, and particularly the turkey may or may not have been at that very first table, but it would have likely made an appearance pretty soon after that first Thanksgiving meal 400 years ago. The turkey is a bird native to this continent. It was hunted by Native Americans and very likely hunted by early settlers as well. Nuts like chestnut and walnuts, as well as beans, onions, and of course cranberries. Now cranberries weren't made into a sauce like we did because the, the pilgrims didn't have sugar or very much sugar with them, but Native Americans would have used this and mixed it up with meat and made sort of like a power bar, something called permican, along with berries like huckleberries and blueberries, which are berries that are native to, to North America. So this year as you go out and celebrate Thanksgiving, I want you to put one food on your table that you can relate right back to 400 years ago in that first Thanksgiving table. And then remember that all this food really comes from nature. And all this produce comes locally and comes from nature. And try to put something on the table that doesn't have to travel further than your guests have to travel. Um, and keep that food local. Now for more tips about how to have a green Thanksgiving and have food locally from your area, uh, go to uh, allhandsonearth.org uh, and you can find lots of tips uh, at allhandsonearth.org on how to have a, a green and fun Thanksgiving this year. Thanks and happy holidays. All right, when we come back, we're talking heart health with the American Heart Association.